Welcome back to my channel IMDB8 Recap. Today I am going to explain an Indian Hindi language comedy drama movie but I Ho released in the year 2018. The movie is about a young man whose mother who seems to be in her 50s gets pregnant and as a result he has to face multiple issues in his life and made mockery. He starts ignoring and insulting his parents but soon realizes about his mistake. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and beware of the spoilers. The movie opens in a house where many women are seen praying and Priyam who was the owner of the house asks his son Nakul to help her with a few things. Nakul was helping his mother when he receives a call from his girlfriend named, Renee and all of the women start stating at him as if he is doing something fishy. In the following scene, Nakul is seen shopping with his girlfriend Renee who suggests him to buy wine instead of flowers for her mother as she was going to introduce Nakul. Nakul is then seen sitting at Renee's house and is talking to her about his family that he lives in a joint family where they all live together and he cannot be away from home for a long time but she ignores and instead replies back stating that the wine is good. Just as Nakul was getting ready to leave, Renee's mother asks him about what was written on the back of his car and Nakul explained to her that the scary font on the car is used to convey the message that his family is a bit weird and everyone needs to stay cautious. Scene switches to G2 who is the father of Nakul and is waiting for his son at the station and recommends a man to think before having babies. Nakul's father appears to be miser as he gives a single mango to the man who helped him in fetching the luggage. G2 is eating mangoes with Priyam and his mother when Priyam complains about Nakul that he keeps talking to Renee, and G2 suggests to keep an eye on Giller, who was their second son and was very rude to his family. Grandma looks at Giller's behavior and starts scolding Priyam, who gets offended and heads to her room. Nakul is seen with his friends when he makes fun of his friend Juna by showing him pictures of his ex with her husband. Juna states that he is lamenting the moment when he told them about her, and Nakul comforts him by saying that it happens between friends. After that, Nakul is buying a dress for his cousin's sister's marriage with Renee when he receives a call from his father, who discloses that his mother is not well and asks him to take her to Dr. Baga. Nakul immediately leaves from there and reaches the hospital with his mother, who is getting checked up by Dr. Baga. Dot doctor states that she is totally fine, and everything is normal, and Priyam asks Nakul to go out and request Dr. Baga to call his wife because she has some other issue. Dr. Baga's wife comes there while Nakul keeps waiting for his mother outside the room. After a while, G2 also arrives there and is informed that his wife is pregnant. Dr. Baga and his wife ask them to think about what they want to do with the baby as they have a week or two to think. G2 asks Nakul to leave for home while he comes with Priyam in his car and asks her what she desires to do with the baby and she replies that she is not going to abort her baby at any cost. They reach back to their home, and G2 calls Nakul and Giller and tells them hesitatingly that Priyam is pregnant, and Nakul gets dumbfounded at this news. Nakul and Giller sit on the roof silently, and then Nakul starts beating Giller saying that it is his fault that he wanted a separate room because had he not requested that then his parents would have continued to stay in separate rooms and wouldn't have gotten pregnant. On the other hand, G2 comes to his mother and tells her that he is going to be a father at this age, and she replies that it is all God's will and G2 gets back to his room excitedly thinking that his mother has accepted the child, but he was unaware that grandma was not wearing her ear machine that time. The next day, Nakul keeps staring at his father, and when grandma asks Priyam to bring a bucket of water, G2 informs her that she is pregnant and is not permitted to pick up weight. Grandma gets shocked and almost dies listening to this news and starts insulting both Priyam and G2. The grandma also insults Priyam's father hearing which Priyam leaves the house, G2 gets her in the car and tries to convince her while grandma keeps yelling at them. Soon everyone becomes acquainted with Priyam's pregnancy, and her friends come to meet her at her house while Nakul keeps hiding his face from all of them and keeps ignoring his friends. Nakul keeps ignoring Renee and one day, she comes home to meet and they both go to the office together. Renee gets mad at Nakul for not informing her before going on leave and he discloses the news of his mother's pregnancy to her. Renee begins laughing and Nakul requests her to stop. Nakul returns from the office and his mother asks him if he has been on leave for more than a week which can cause some troubles at the time of his cousin's sister's marriage and both Nakul and Giller deny coming to the marriage. In the next scene, G2, Grandma, and Priyam reach a city called Mirut to attend the marriage ceremony and meet Gudan and Alka who ask them about Nakul and Giller but Priyam makes an excuse. Nakul is in the office when Renee informs him that she is alone at home and they can have fun together if he wants which obviously Nakul couldn't say no to. On the other hand, G2 and Priyam can be seen enjoying the party. Nakul and Renee are making love when Nakul stops unexpectedly, reminiscing about his parents, and Renee gets offended by that action. 
Rene questions him if he has any issue with his parents' relationship and also states that she is not willing to be with him if he discontinues to be romantic since love for her has no age limits. She also adds how she used to intentionally interrupt her parents while making love by knocking at the door. Thereafter in the next scene we see Nakul leaving when Giller asks him to pay the tuition fee and also needs pocket money. Nakul asks him to accompany him and gives him the money. Giller gets back to school and pays his canteen bill with the money and on his way to class, he gets into an argument with a boy named Sumit. Nakul goes to attend the birthday party of Renee's mother and gifts her flowers. Later, he remembers that today is the marriage of his cousin's sister and calls her to congratulate her. Priyam also wants to talk to him but the call disconnects because Nakul's phone switches off due to battery. After the celebration, Nakul is returning to his home when he recalls that he has left his phone at Renee's house, and when he returns to pick up his phone, he is shocked after listening to what Renee's mother was saying about his family. Nakul gets furious and starts misbehaving with Renee's mother for disrespecting his family. Renee asks him to apologize but Nakul is adamant. Seeing this Renee ends her relationship with Nakul for not apologizing to her mother. Nakul returns home and looks at Giller's injured face and asks him who has done it. Giller informs him about Sumit describing how he tried to disrespect their parent and because of that he got into a fight. Nakul gets ready to scuffle with him but Giller says that he wants to slap him in front of the whole school. During this, they acknowledge that instead of supporting their parent, they have been behaving badly with them. The next morning, Nakul practices threatening someone and goes to Giller's school. Nakul threatens Summit about him and asks Giller to slap him badly. Giller slaps him thrice after which they leave for home and discuss whether they want a baby brother or sister. Nakul meets his friends, and Juna tries to make of him, but Nakul roasts him, due to which Juna feels humiliated. On the other side, Alka and Gunan try to insult Priyam for having a child at such an age and say that she is unaware of her traditional values. Grandma was listening to this conversation and scold them all defending Priyam stating that taking care of parents is also a part of values which they are unaware of and tells them that Priyam has been serving her and the family selflessly and they need to learn values from her instead. G2 comes there to comfort her, and Grandma appreciates Priyam for the first time for her selfless service. Grandma requests G2 to take her back to her home and to forgive her grandsons. They reach back, and Nakul apologizes to his mother and hugs her while his father also forgives him, and everyone in their family starts living happily. Nakul takes his mother to see a doctor, and the couple is shocked to see that he is with his mother. Later, G2 wishes to have a baby girl. Despite this, Nakul and Rene keep missing each other and spend their days sadly, which is noticed by Nakul's mother, and one night she suggests to Nakul to apologize to Rene otherwise, he will lose her forever. Nakul goes and meets Renee's mother and apologizes to her. Nakul leaves giving her an invitation card for the baby shower. When Renee arrives home in the evening, her mother informs her that Nakul came to see her, and he has apologized to her because he is a good guy. Priyam is sitting with G2 and Grandma when her condition gets bad since she was in third trimester, and G2 calls Nakul to help her. Renee's mother asks her to contact Nakul. Renee calls Nakul, but he was busy driving his mother to the hospital. They all reach the hospital, and Priyam is taken to the emergency room. The doctor informs G2 that they will have to operate immediately, and all of them look worried. Renee reaches Nakul's house and is informed that they have left for the hospital since Priyam wasn't feeling good. Nakul looks sad when Renee holds his hand, and he gets excited after seeing her. After a while, the doctor arrives and congratulates them stating that they have a baby girl. Nakul looks at his baby sister and holds her, and then G2 looks at her and shows her to Priyam. Priyam then asks Nakul to take a selfie and asks Renee to join them. The movie switches 15 weeks when Nakul and Renee get engaged, and the movie ends here. Overall but Iho is a great movie to watch with an amazing storyline, so make sure to check it out. To watch many more exciting recaps like this, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Let us know in the comment section about the next favorite movie that you would like us to recap. Thanks again for watching and stay safe and healthy.